Ah, Damien, I can uh, demonstrate that real quick for you. So when we're on a pulse wave, right, we have a square. So 50% up, 50% down. And most of the time when you can do pulse width modulation, what you're basically doing is shifting the amount of time that that's at the top or the bottom, right? So instead of 50, 50, you know, uh, it even says on this synthesizer 50 to 90%. So something like 80%, it gets narrower sounding as it goes high. We could take it all the way up to 90% just on the synthesizer without using any modulation, right? So if I turn this off, that's what a 90%, it's a very small sound, right? Now, if we route um, the LFO to pulse width one and two, uh, and we increase the amount, you'll hear that it goes through zero to nothing. Actually, in this case, it seems to like peek out just, there's a little in there. It's almost invisible. So maybe I should say it goes not through zero. It's really going through 100%. So I don't, but for some reason in the synth world, we all just say through zero, right? Back to the sawtooth. Let's turn tremolo on. And this to me is kind of more beautiful. I don't know why. Almost sounds like a phaser, right? Control. So listen to what happens as I press this. It actually automatically modulates the speed from slow to fast, but it doesn't do it instantly. It has like a little built-in effect to it.